All right. Um, you know, I thought today was a uh, was a real solid work day. Um, you know, we had a couple guys uh, a couple guys out today actually, just uh, you know, a little bit of illness that's uh, that's going around. Um, so it provided opportunities for, for guys that are maybe into depth that have you know needed to, to step up, and uh, you get a chance to, to work through and execute a game plan. And uh, you know, not not concerned right now of anybody you know missing you know missing game, but uh, you know, obviously it was one of those things that happened you know this time of year, and um, you know, unfortunately it was. Uh, Affected affected a couple of positions, but um, you know, we got, I thought we got good work. You know, I, I really like the energy of the defense as it progressed through practice. You know, I thought they were uh, really flying around. Uh, you know, offensively, just yeah, you know, there were some good things that we showed up. I thought we finished well. Uh, and you had some execution things. You know, just with uh, third down situations, we got to be better at. And you know, it's, you know, I think I mentioned last week, the last couple of weeks, you know, we try to provide a lot of different looks. You know, uh, you know, things that we've seen and things that we might not expect to see. Um, uh, that you know, just to force our guys to really have to go through all progressions, trust the rules, trust the fundamentals, and be prepared for, for whatever circumstance might show up uh, you know, come Saturday. So uh, you know, I, thought, I thought it was all in all a good day. Uh, but you know, like I said, we've got, we got some work to do as we finish up the week. Seemed like the DBs had a nice day, at least competing and picking off some passes, breaking yeah, up some. Yeah, they did. They did a good job. Man. I thought they had you know, good energy. You know, uh, continue to work. Um, you know, trust and believing in fundamentals. And you know, I thought they, uh, uh, you know, they've been playing at a high level, and you need that to continue here here towards the end of the season. Um, you know, I thought it was a, I thought it was a good work day for them. What kind of things is what kind of challenges I guess does Louisiana present? Uh, I mean they've got they've got a couple dynamic players you know out there at, at the skill positions offensively they got you know a receiver that I think will you know you know be an NFL player um, you know he's he's good he's big he's explosive you know does does a nice job of creating separation um, the quarterback you know he can you know he, he does a great job of managing their offense but also you know can you put the ball in a lot of different places uh, you running backs they run really hard um, you know I think they, they do a good job very well coached on the offensive line um, you know. Offensively, I mean, there's you know they 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 do a good job with their scheme and their and with their personnel. Uh, defensively, it's multiple looks, and uh, you know they've got got some guys that can really run. Um, you know they they fly around, they they play tough and physical. I, I know I mentioned a couple of defensive linemen. Uh, you'll hear this uh, earlier in the week. I mean, those guys they they can definitely play, and so uh, you know we got to focus on on our fundamentals and our execution, and uh, you know, go go play our best game. They also happen to be one of the better punt return teams in the country. Is that right? Yeah, their return games are phenomenal. I mean, they got they got uh, you know punt returner that I think you know as good as anybody in the country. Uh, kick returner, they've they've had some uh, you know, explosive plays you know with that as well. So we got a we got a great challenge here in front of us. You know, our guys. You know, we've we've sh showed them the film. We've uh, you know we're putting together you know the best plan that we can, and uh, you know we got to go out there and execute at a high level because um, they can definitely make you pay if if, if you're not on point. Looks like Josh Farmer has been consistently like sniffing out screens and, and doing that practice and games is that just a unique skill set that, that well, he has? I mean, you know there's just things that you, you you try to try to train with tips you know alerts you know different things like that and then uh, um, you know it's diagnosing it in the, in the moment and uh, you know I think Josh is getting better with each day um, you know it's great to see him make some plays out there on uh, on Saturday um, you know just really fired up about where where his future is going and the work that he's putting in all right guys